YouTube, it's me, Jen, your pudgy picker, and Pixel, and Tater. <laughs> you know, they go from not being in the videos for a while to every video, there they are, wagging tails again, just like last week. <laughs> okay, you guys got enough wiggle in there? Look at when they stick their legs out. I go up and I'll grab Tater's leg and I'll go, give me that leg, give me that chicken leg. Look at them wagging their tails because they know that's what I'm talking about. You guys done? <laughs> okay, let's jump right into what I got. This is, of course, a Monday Savers Thrift Haul. Uh, did eh at the first one and did woohoo at the second one. So, I don't know, it seems to be that way. Sometimes I'll go to the first one and clean up and other times I'm like, oh, I got out of bed early for this. Because the first one, first savers opens at 7, and the second one opens at 9. So I'm there for both of them when they open, which is cool. So let me show you what I got. So I got, let me, you know, let me go to the back of the table, because I kind of want to show you what this is. I saw this awesome wicker basket, and I'm like, wow, that's really cool. Let's take that off. And I was like, wow, it's in really good condition. It is a file box. And these are the, uh, like, the legal size. And they had the files in here. Nothing marked. Um, so, isn't that cool? So, you could use it for the file box, or you could just use it for a box. So, isn't that cool? This was $7.99, so it was only $4. Since my savers have half price on Mondays. But look at that. I mean, there's like just not a thing wrong with it. Usually when you see these, you go, oh, that's really nice. And you pick it up and there's a big scratched hole or something in it. But that was an awesome find. I got for a bag for also for $7.99 or $4. It has the starfish and then these, which you can, and I don't think I'm going to do that, but you can put, um, uh, what do you call them? <sighs> Air plants in. So, yeah, you could do that. I don't know. Maybe I'll try that. Why not? $4. Not bad at all. Look out, guys. I don't want to step on anybody. I did get two clocks. This one is... It looks kind of like retro almost because of the design and it's in a red. Ben Ross, never heard of it. Metal hands, glass lens. Uh, very cool. Um, that was also $7.99 or $4. Um, I told you, I think last week, I do, uh, I have maybe four to five clocks at a time in my booth, and sometimes they sit, and then in a week or two, they start selling like crazy. So I always have a spot here recently. I got this one. It's metal, has a uh, coffee, it says Cafe Latte Supreme Blend. That one was also $7.99 or $4. Uh, I got this very awesome looking shell planter. Uh, that was two. Um, Ginny, hi, Ginny, if you're watching. Uh, we were talking for a minute and she said, hey, I bet you want this. <laughs> I'm like, sure, I'll take it. So it's a, a snail in ceramic and he was only two dollars so thank you Jenny for the snail this is metal and it looks like a stagecoach and some oxen pulling it it is metal very cool also $3.99 or two dollars it's nothing special unique old made in China so but it's heavy enough that uh, that should do well in my booth I always forget to tell you guys um Let's see, the wicker box, probably 20 to 22. The clock, probably 14 to 16, same with that one. Not sure, depending on what I put in that. The snail, probably 8 to 10. This, um, if I put it in my booth, it'll also be 8 to 10. So yeah, I know you guys like when I kind of guesstimate where I'm going price-wise, and if I'm gonna sell it in my antique booth, or if I'm going to sell it in uh, my eBay store. Did find some fabric. Uh, this one was really cool. When I first looked at it, I'm like, 
those are railroad brands. So this piece was only $1.99 or a dollar. And then I thought, I'm gonna get looking at this because if that's just what it is, I don't know if anybody will be interested in that. And look at the bottom half. Isn't that awesome? So the bottom half has this like rail yard. Isn't that cool? So not sure how much that's gonna go for. I will do my research. Um, I do sell some newer fabric online, not a huge amount, but I'll have to figure out, if I end up putting this in my booth, I'll have to uh, display it in such a way that people can see exactly what it is. So I got that one for only a dollar. This one's really cool. It's actually like strips of this uh, batik, and then it has the like embroidered, very cool. There's probably a yard to a yard and a half. That was also only a dollar. These, um, this one was at the second place. This one was at the first place. Uh, the uh, fabric lady did see that I had this and she said, oh, I don't have any grandsons, so I didn't pick that up. So yeah, so she let me have it. <laughs> so I thought that was a good price. This appears to be a vintage piece. It is uh, only $2.99 or $1.50. Um, what I tell people is, if you want to do the research, most things that are worth anything will have this information on there. So you have uh, Cyrus Clark, maybe. Um, then it has other information on there, so that's where you would start to look this up. Uh, it's like an upholstery fabric or a curtain fabric. There's probably a good two yards on there, so research is key. Otherwise, if I sell something in my booth, the fabric, it goes for $3 a yard, and then I just measure it out, wrap it up, put the size on the tag and the price on the tag. Um, hard to think about fall when it's 93 degrees, as it was today in my neck of the woods, Cleveland. Um, this one says, love, faith, and hope on pumpkins. So I will put this away until fall. It was only $1.50. Um, I got, this is a very cute brand of purse. Not sure how this in particular is going to do because it appears to be like a little kid, like a backpack maybe. Um, and it's got doggies on it. Bungalow 360, I have sold these bags before. Um, they're very unique. They have some awesome little designs on them and these have panting puppy dogs. So I thought for $1.50 it would be worth uh, taking a look. Checked all the zippers. Everything is clean inside and out. So I will do my research and see if that's worth anything. Otherwise, if it's just a regular purse, I pick it up. I don't even think about it. I got two shirts. The shirt prices at Savers are getting crazy. There was a few shirts that were literally t-shirts. Avenue and... Uh, just basic brands, Catherine's t-shirts. And they were selling from 12, up, like up to $12.49 and $13.49. That's crazy, even at half price, there's just no meat on the bones to buy those and resell them. But if you evidently skip by, have this very pretty uh, summer top. It is an 1820 Avenue and I paid $3.25. Um, this is a really pretty uh, cotton top. Um, this was $7.49 or $3.75. It is a Liz Claiborne women and it is in a 3X. So those will be nice to list them now that the summer is here. I'm sure someone would love those. Uh, I did find this, uh, this Coca-Cola glass jar that actually is for straws. That's pretty cute. The top has a little bit of, uh, I don't know, wear on it, I guess you could say. But for $3, I figured that would be an easy pickup for my booth. The date on it looks like 1992. But, you know, there's people who love Coca-Cola stuff. It doesn't have to be old. Um, so that will go in my booth. Not sure how much I'll put on that. I'll have to research it. Um, have this uh, yarn. There's four skeins. It was $2.50. Made in Italy. So that's pretty, it was Italy or France when I looked at it. So I will be listing that accordingly. Really pretty uh, carved uh, wooden, a very heavy uh, frame. That was only $1.50. Been doing really well on frames. 
For some reason, they're selling. A lot of them are going, so I'm kind of filling in and kind of condensing down. So I only buy ones that are especially unique or interesting or look expensive. Uh, so I'm very careful about what I pick up because every thrift store and every garage sale has frames. So I just thought that one was very classy looking. This will look familiar to you. It is like a la uh, lantern. I got one just like this, and yes, it's still at my booth. <laughs> this one was only $1.50. It does have a candle and a holder in there. So, I don't know, maybe I'll sell them as a set. Why not? Um, I did get this very adorable little lamp. It was only a dollar. It's got a palm tree, and the, uh, the leaves on the palm tree are metal, so I kind of have to reshape those a little bit. But that'll go in the booth for 8 to 10 um, the frame, I'll probably put eight. Uh, I know I keep going back because I keep forgetting to give you the prices that I'm going to be doing. Uh, for a dollar, I got some different color or different kinds of moss. Um, I do some floral stuff, so that's a pretty good price. And I like the different colors. Um, got this, uh, tray that you could use it for paperwork or you could just use it for, uh, a plant or your remotes. It was only two dollars. Got this sign that says Simplify. It was a dollar fifty. Um, there was two of these, um, but the one other one that I did not get was very damaged. Um, it uh, it looked like someone dropped it and split a big chunk off. Um, this is like a paper picture, which I'm not going to keep. I'm actually going to like pop this out and then I'm going to hang a uh, like a boxwood wreath there and put that in my booth and sell it something kind of rustic it was only a buck fifty so that should be an easy fix so I can take that out it's very cute I mean it's paper and it's got a hole and it's got some you know discoloration where it had been sitting in the light so definitely not gonna keep it the way it is I think if it was in better condition the picture I would keep it because people like chickens. Um, to go with my nautical stuff, has all these different uh, kinds of knots in a frame and then a boat, so, or ship I should say. That was only $2. That will go in my booth probably 12 to 16 I'm guessing. Um, that once I do it and put the boxwood frame, I'll probably put 10 or 12 to 14. Got uh, two sets of salt and pepper shakers, brand new in the box. This one is so cute, just has flowers, salt and pepper shakers. One says salt, one says pepper. That was only $1.50. This one I'm not going to take out of the box, but I did look just to make sure. It looks like a little pond, and it has a duck sitting and then a duck diving. <laughs> they're not real big, but they're so adorable, and people like them just because they're cute. So this is Grassland Road, never heard of it. But this was only, look at the original price, $11.99, and it was $1.50. So those will go out into my booth, probably put six to eight, depending um, on um, the salt and pepper shakers, but they do sell. They don't sell crazy fast, but there's always somebody who knows somebody who collects. So I definitely pick those up, especially if they're new and in really good condition. Um, I did get this. I believe it to be vintage, uh, even though it has a barcode. We're getting to a time in life where there can be items that are vintage that have a barcode. So that being said, I do really well with uh, stationary kits. This one is still sealed. It is in a box with a lid. It has uh, 30 decorative letter sheets, 15 envelopes, 10 decorative notes, and 10 envelopes for those. So very good, They, I believe those are pansies, also $2. So I will put that on eBay. Usually I put my, um, my stationary sets up for about 16, 1685. I don't know why I choose that price, but they do pretty good at that price. Tater, say hello, hello. Somebody's going to get shaved here soon. We're going to make an appointment, aren't we? <laughs> I like to do this with her hair. <laughs> Look at that hair. Uh-oh, wait, wait. You're tangled in my mic. There you go. 
Okay, uh, last few items. Um, I never really see these, the older ball jars, and with the zinc lid, and it was only 99 cents or 59 or 50 cents. So I was very happy to get that. I'm sure I can sell it by itself or put something in it. This is for me. I went to look for a shot glass recently and couldn't find one. So I don't know if it got thrown out or what the problem was, but yeah, Pudgy Picker needs a shot glass. <laughs> There's just days I need a shot glass. So yeah, 99 cents, 50 cents. Of course, there's 50 different kinds with every kind of shape imaginable. I'm just taking a basic old one, you know, just that's what I had before. Now that I bought that, my other one will turn up because that's how it works. I did get this awesome paperweight. Uh, it's green and blue and has like a twist in the center. It was $2.50. Um, those do really well too. I have a shelf that is all paperweights and glass made items and that will fit right in. I will probably put maybe, I don't know, 10 to 12 on there. It's, not, it's no Murano or anything special, but people do like them. Another item I'm probably going to keep until the fall is this very cute ceramic acorn. Um, it was originally $12.99. It's taped shut, so I'm not sure. Yeah, it had a candle in it. Or maybe it still does. It's kind of heavy. But that was only $2, so if it did have a candle in it or if it's remotely burned or anything, I'll probably just finish burning it and then clean it out real good and then it can go in my fall stuff. So yeah, I got a couple things for fall. When it's 93 degrees, you gotta think ahead. <laughs> so I guess, uh, figures the phone's gonna ring. I guess that's all I have for you guys. Um, I did pretty good today, I think. Um, if you see anything that's interesting or you have any insight on, I would appreciate some information. Um, like I've always told you guys, I always bring the stuff in, lay it out, and then I show you. I haven't done any research. I just kind of go with a gut feel as to what I'm going to be buying and reselling. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad to have you. Uh, keep watching for all my awesome hauls from garage sales, thrift stores, and on the occasional auction and booth tours and other fun stuff. As an occasional how-to is also possible. So uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. You can uh, also uh, uh, subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. Always love to have you. Um, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter under The Pudgy Picker. And you can also follow me on Pinterest under Just Pudgy Picker. Just to see what I'm up to, what I'm looking at, and what I'm thinking about making in the future for resale. So I will see you guys next time, and until then, happy picking. Bye!